in this video you will see things that you have never seen before on this channel and you will see me do something that you hopefully will never ever see again uh, let's get ready to rumble daily race a this week is rally cars on a short track with comfort soft tires i'm going to throw down a qualifying lap time of a 48.686 and that's going to get me third on my friends list but importantly 52nd in the world so far how will this translate to a no rules racing now being 52nd in the world at the time of recording this video it only puts me fourth on the grid for this race which is pretty ridiculous uh, but let's see what goes on no dr or sr for this race uh, will it be clean will it be dirty let's try and find out these are incredibly hard cars to drive on these low grip tires on this tarmac track and there's a lot of bumping and barging going on a bit wide into turn one not the ideal line uh, this is my first race of the night so we're going to learn as we go through here and we'll also learn as we go through that the cleanliness of the racing isn't to do with the rules it's more to do with the drivers that take part a bit of bumping and barging going on here but no malice intended by any of the drivers i don't think and a little bit later in the video you will see something absolutely shocking and we'll get to that a little bit later but we're going to bunch up here into the tight hairpin penalties for some drivers ahead so we mean seventh position losing quite a few places on lap one there and i'm really enjoying driving these cars this race a with no sr and dr is is quite refreshing it's quite fun but as you can see later in the video, there will be some toxic players or a toxic player specifically will enter this race and cause problems for everybody. And we're going to serve up some justice. But for now, we are now up to sixth position in this race. Penalty for a driver ahead now. Is that going to play a part into the corner ahead? They're going to not quite go side by side. We're going to close in massively and try and hang it around the outside. But it's not going to work out here. Keep an eye on the radar in the uh, slower corners it really bunches up really quickly and we're going to try and get the car stopped as we go down the hill bit of contact at the corner apex for those two drivers and the move has been done following the french driver now onto the main straight it's not much of a main straight on this track but we are now closing into the back skipping forwards again trying to get the car stopped on this downhill section really slow speed corner and then trying to get the exit as best we can uh, these two drivers are really close by. I'm going to capitalise on any incidents that may occur. And sneaking to the inside maybe. That's not going to quite work out for us here. What's going to happen on this another downhill braking zone? Uh, someone's going to sneak to the inside. Jay Dex is going to go a little bit wider. We're just going to get a little bit to the inside there. Uh, a little bit of contact, but we've got that move done. And let me know what you think of that one in the comments below. That is a very mild taste of what's about to go down up to fifth now and we're looking ahead to get that fourth place back to where we started at the start of the race the leaders haven't really got away so it's the three-way battle for the lead three-way battle for fourth place we're going to try and get a bit of an outside line here into the braking zone super wide from razor at the front switch back we're going to get blocked up there but a switch back to the inside and we're going to get this move almost done onto the front straight now and we're going to run a little bit wide we're gonna make oh, just brush contact we want to get squashed against the wall there and we top rope maneuver there from J Dex. uh no malice intended i'm sure but we did get squashed against that wall so far for me it's been a a rough race but i don't think it's been particularly toxic there have been some door-to-door -door contact it's all good i kind of expect that with this kind of uh rally cross style racing uh, the cars are difficult to control getting the car stopped is very difficult the car has very little traction in the middle of the corners and so far for me i'm happy with all of these contacts they are rough racing and to be expected i'm going to get try and get the car stopped now get a good exit to try and catch back these guys ahead and yeah this is just good fun guys this is a fun daily race a hey, everyone's out there everyone's driving aggressively but within themselves and it, it's all good fun we've got a track limits penalty that's going to really uh, really scupper our race hopes this time i think but look at them battling ahead now fantastic stuff from these guys skipping forwards now lap number seven and into the first corner jdex is going to get it wide Travisio is going to have a little bit of contact and just put him off the track There's just the slightest amount of contact uh, but we're going to be able to capitalize on that right now 
and get him on the brakes into this corner here. Are we gonna go too deep on the brakes? I think we're gonna survive that one. Up to fifth position. Is there gonna be any cutback? It looks like we're safe into the downhill braking zone. Let's see how this one plays out now. Wanna keep the car tight, want to keep the car slow and we're gonna get a little bit on the handbrake to rotate then get a corner X on Treviso. We don't quite make that happen, but this is absolutely top draw racing guys. I'm enjoying this. Basically, us, us, three, us four guys at the start of the race, five, we are having door-to-door -door battles. Small contact, all good. It doesn't matter that DR's turned off. It doesn't matter that SR's turned off. We are policing ourselves. We are racing together as racers. It looks like Razor's gonna run around the outside of the track there. Is Trevisio gonna send it on Razor into the second significant corner on the track now? Uh, we're gonna look to the outside of Trevisio. Now it's not going to work out for us. We're just going to go across the grass just a little bit. Uh, we've not really dropped uh, J Dex from behind us either. And Trevisa is going to get crossed up on the braking. Razor's going to go deep on there. We're going to try and get the car rotated. Razor's going to run too wide, hit the barrier, and we're going to make that position happen. Uh, just about avoided contact for ourselves. And that is going to complete lap number eight. We are up to fourth position now. Fifth position now. J Dex is right alongside us now into the first corner. We got the inside line, we're gonna get the car stopped. Uh, keep the car to the inside, not allow the switch back, just barely. Look on the radar now, he's just gonna get alongside, maybe, but I think we've survived that one. Are we going to be under threat into the next braking zone? I'm not quite sure, he's a little bit far back, but he's closing. He's gonna go to the inside, we're gonna get the brakes as late as we can, leave a bit of space on the inside because he is there, we need to leave the room, and he's gonna make that move happen. What a fantastic move there by Jadex and we're gonna see what we can do on the braking zone. Go to the outside maybe. Is that gonna work out? Get the overlap, try and get the car rotated. No way to get the car on the cutback and we're gonna miss out on that move. Skipping forwards, final lap of the race into the tight hairpin on the downhill. JDX is gonna go wide. We're gonna try and get the car rotated to the inside, get the drive out the corner. It's not gonna work out for us there, unfortunately, but we are gonna try and make this move. JDX has blocked past on Trevis. <laughs> He's got the move done. JDEX in, in third place. We're going to get, get fourth place. Trevisio in fifth. After the race, Trevisio let JDEX through to obviously repay for that uh, small bit of contact in the middle of the race there. This is a great example of great racers having great races. Doesn't matter if penalties are turned on or off. Racers respect racers. We are going to go again. Check out driver in fifth place, B-rated driver, Lewis from Portugal. He is gonna be the focus of this video going forwards. Now, I know I need to close off the inside. Around the outside in turn one never works. I'm gonna drift straight across and just block off that move straight away. Get on the brakes at a reasonable amount of time and we're just being pushed wide, 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 wide from our driver from Portugal. Let's call him Driver X. Let's not try and name and shame. But we're going to try and race forwards. We had great races before, so there's no reason why we can't have great races once again. And into the braking zone, so I want a little bit of nudge from Driver X there. Uh, it's going to nudge Trevisio wide, and are we going to try and capitalise on this one? It doesn't quite look like we're going to be able to into the braking zone down the hill, and there's going to be quite a few bits of contact with Driver X. It looks like Razor's suffered from that one. Uh, but we are now up into fourth position. Uh, capitalised on that little bit of bumping and barging. So we can go racing now. Looks like Trevisio has a penalty. So let's see how this one plays out in the penalty zone. I'm not sure I'll be able to get him in the penalty zone. But he will start to become in our range. And with an exit from the corner here. We're going to look ahead to Razor in fourth position. Will he get... This, uh, or Driver X is one place behind us. Uh, looking at the braking zone to sweep through here in third gear and driver x from downtown takes out trevisio razor and myself and this is where things start to go sour i mean that was a clear clear torpedo maneuver and clearly in retaliation to, to things that happened earlier in the race which well we're going to get a track limits penalty. We're going to shuffle a lot down the order. And this race is, is down the drain for us. Let's just take a closer look at driver X. And into turn one, clearly just pushed us wide there. And continuing to push us wide to make sure that move sticks. Not ideal. Um, 
benefit of the doubt there let's give him on that occasion uh, into turn two it looks like he's going to make a beeline and get off the brakes there and just run Trevisio wide um, I don't think he outbraked himself because you can see the brake lights go off he released the brakes and then down into the hairpin a little bit of double contact there maybe maybe not not quite sure on that one but I'm sorry what I saw from earlier was a release of the brakes to punt Trevisio wide at turn two skipping forwards into braking zone of turn two and you can see beeline straight for Trevisio releasing the brakes and doing a two for one punt with a bonus third punt for myself uh, continuing to try and spin Razor around and just absolute chaos kicking off stark contrast to the first race where it was a bit of friendly bumping and banging but we all got through okay so we decided to go again line up for the lobby once again Razor on pole I'm in second and driver X in third place oh boy is what I described it and it's almost like I knew what was coming off the line I know I've got to cover the inside it's incredibly dangerous to be on the outside into turn one so straight off the line we drift across cover the inside and try and get around but no we've been pushed I pushed absolutely pushed and then razors punted off the track I was not happy with the driving at this point it's incredibly disappointing to be having fantastic races with great races now to be just be pushed out their way so let's just return the favor here and send it into turn two and just sneak down the inside and just just push to return the favor um it is all kicking off behind as you can see on the radar it's all kicked off but hopefully uh we're back to where we belong uh raises in the lead i'm in second now hopefully we can go and no um louis has he's back to his ways i oh, sorry i mean i mean driver x uh unnamed driver um so at this point I, I could see the race being ruined yet again th this driver is just pushing through and not racing fairly sr and dr aren't enabled um and there was only one thing to do uh, apply some poetic justice so i'm a little way behind now i was going to go for some kind of block pass um but i can't really send it from or can i what an absolutely fantastic block pass that was it's at this point in the video where most drivers will apologize i really shouldn't have done that i lost my call blah blah i'm sorry I, i'd do it again it, i've got no regrets from doing that in the slightest I, I would happily race anybody hard fair i would always give the position back if i've made a mistake or or, or been too aggressive with an overtaking maneuver but that one was 100 percent squarely deserved now, Tijney has his three-strike rule. I think I was more than fair with, with letting him just dig his own grave and then seal his own fate. As always, guys, let me know in the comments below. I'm always interested to hear what your thoughts on this are. I don't want to be a bad driver. I don't want to take people out, but I felt that was essential. But what it allowed to happen is for everybody in the race to have an enjoyable race at the front. A tactical takeout to eliminate a toxic driver. Hopefully, it allowed everyone to have fun. And honestly, it's the in the post-race chat it's the first time i've seen people actually taking part in the post-race chat now it seems like a lot of people had fun in that race now driver x commented to say that he sh he he feels like he can do eight minutes 21 as his race time now probably it seems like quite a fast driver but eight minutes 21 it doesn't matter you need to make sure that the people that are in front of you on the track are respected you can't just push through people to get your eight minutes 21 race time and i actually did bother to type that out in the chat to louis i mean driver x just so that he understands why i might have done what i've done anyway as always guys let me know in the comments below I i'm happy to stand up and and say i was, I was wrong but I, I don't believe i was let's just look at those instances incidents uh once more into turn one here we're going to see you're just going to go right down the inside drive through me drive through razor and then just just get away into the lead then we're going to skip forwards to my block pass that's it works incredibly well I mean, I mean don't don't think because i'm a clean and courteous driver and i'm always willing to give space and race fairly don't think i'm a pushover because if you're going to piss me off you're going to get in the barrier if you're going to ruin other people's races in, in fact that that's that's the reason for this it wasn't so fact that much that you, you pushed me off i think what made me take the action i took is when he starts to ruin other people's races i don't care about my race 
but if he's going to start ruining everybody's race in the lobby, then I'm going to take action. As always, guys, let me know in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more great races. Honestly, I, I hope this is the last you'll ever see of this. I really do not want to be driving like this. But thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.